<laughs> I know exactly what I'm going to name this video. And I've decided this channel, I'm more about entertaining myself than the views. <laughs> so, this is footage found from a camera phone from 2003. <laughs> I am currently recording this yeah. on my secondary phone. I bought one. I got a custom phone on my 40th birthday for my wife. I've got a video planned about that, about being an extra lot of 40. Uh, it's still a quiet. It is. Uh, I have no idea what the sound like's going to be like. And because of my old number of that, if I said wrong, <coughs> it's linked to so many companies and stuff like that. And, you know, kind of um, second passwords and stuff. I bought a pink Nokia flip phone for it. And I discovered today that it can record. So I thought I would for a laugh. Now, let's put this on Instagram because it's gonna make me cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk about the evolution of me and camera phones. It's well known that I've been a fan of phones for Ever. When was my first phone? 1999. It was the Sagem, I want to say Y580, but I don't think it is. I actually have one of them, which is another video idea I've had on my channel. Uh, but when the first kind of camera phone started coming about 2002, 2003, and it was a big deal about being able to send like photos, and back then it was called an MMS, and it was like 50p to send a 0.3 megapixel um, camera, and I think this camera is 0.3, or it might be 2 megapixel, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll look at that. But when they were first coming out, they were insanely expensive. You're talking 350 quid uh, to buy outright, which for a phone now is decent. You know, you get a hell of a lot for your money. Back then, you know, it was cutting edge, but it was just a flip phone with a really shit camera on uh, I didn't have one for a long time. What's the first one I had? The first camera phone I had was the Nokia 6600, I think it was. By the time that had come out, yes, the 6600, by the time that had come out, uh, phones had been for a couple of a year or two. When did that come out? It came out in 2003 and it cost 600 quid. I paid, where would it be? 2004. I paid two, no, 300 pounds for it in 2004 uh, because I just got my student loan overdraft and I was an idiot. And I had this phone for quite a long time and my friend had it as well. And it was kind of the first smartphone I ever owned because you could install it. I still have a load of videos today that I recorded on that phone. I still have them. If the operating software will let me, I'll put a few together, upload it to YouTube. If it supports it, <laughs> link it below so you can kind of see it. You get to see 20 year old me skating and doing things. Uh, that was during the jack shit years. Uh, but that was it. You know, I've got some great photos on there, like still uploaded, you know, these, these, phones, these photos are older than some of the people I work with, not so much now I'm security, but some of the people I used to work with, you know, it's absolutely mental, you know, I've got MP3s, MP3 files that are older, well, what's that, my first MP3 file, what's the oldest one I know I've got, it is from 2003, because it was the typo negative wife, it's not wife is loud, what was it? Wife is killing me, I think it was called, album. And uh, it was that, uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be there. And about halfway through the song, what the music industry was doing at the time was releasing songs themselves, but with an advertisement in it. So it, even until now, I still got the file where it goes, life is killing me, how now? <laughs> like halfway through it. And even though I've updated like, my music collection to FLAC uh, in my singles folder, I've still got that version. 
<laughs> because it just makes me go, oh, yeah, instead of like a flat version of it. Is it still recording? I'm going to have to be checking every now and then. I have no idea what the sound's going to be like. This is going to be my third video on the channel. Uh, but yeah, it just, um, I'm going to try and make this as long as I can, because why not? Uh, I've got a feeling that there's not going to be. Well, should we try some, um, oh, close whisper. She comes home from, she goes camping, and when she comes home from camping, she will just put her bags on the stairs, and, and not, not just on the side, on the stairs, and I will just get used to it, I won't even notice, I won't look down and go, oh, I need the bag there, I'll just go, and step over it, <laughs> because we've got a really bad case of executive dysfunction between us, it'll be there for like a week sometimes, because she's got so much gear. She doesn't need to go into it to do it. It will just be there. <laughs> so I will get used to going up down the stairs and go in. Or I'm coming down the stairs and the last one. Just stepping over it. <laughs> Great. And it's to the point where <laughs> if um get some background noise. If um I won't notice that she's mis moved it. So I'll go just step over. I'll go up the stairs and I won't pay attention. I'll go. I didn't need to do that. But for the next day or so, I will continue to go because <laughs> you just get used to it. Now, I'm pretty bad at my filming. So I'll do a fit I'll set up some filming. I'll get to do it. And this is over the years, like how long have we making you this mile? Well over ten years. And this <laughs> it's been in my kitchen as it is. And it's moved places. So it's been here. Set it up, 